And the storm is a sign. A sign that we are delving into dark, difficult territory. Territory that very few have been able to surpass. The lands known as Gulf Gurus Pitch and Pots. Dun dun dun! Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough, new haircuts, and this is actually take two on uh, this here, because I was taking it way, way too long, and I actually ran out of memory on the memory card, so yeah, let's just start this from the beginning here. Sound good? Alright, so here we go, golf crews, pitching and pots, 18... Good shots in a row, basically. Well, I shouldn't say 18 good shots in a row. It's really uh, nine good shots in a row and, you know, nine putts. Because in theory, uh, you're, you're aiming for, you know, to make it relatively close to the hole uh, with the wind and whatever's going on on the hole and the small landing areas. And, ooh, that's not too bad. Uh, but what I mean is that the, uh, uh, it, like... Maybe putts like this are a thing, but other things are, I mean, like other putts are typically pretty easy, because you can get pretty close and you actually land your ball on the green, but uh, this, this hole right here is kind of a run killer. Uh, <laughs> it's really, really tight of a landing area, and I'm just going to try and get it up there with some backspin and hope for the best. This looks pretty good, although... Oh, 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 it's a little bit long. It's kind of pushing it there, but it's okay. And I hit it about there. Please go in, I'm begging you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'd poop myself if I managed to get this on my first try on this uh, uh, new video here, because I was just having so much difficulty with this thing. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna put topspin on this to try and cut off the power, and why is this going so far left? I didn't aim that far left. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I'd get it in my first try. But yeah, I took so many tries on it that uh, I, I, it would've been a lot of footage to sift through anyway, and so I'm kinda okay with the camera running out of space <laughs> just to restart this and make things a little bit easier on myself to uh, go through. I mean, after all, you do know what a uh, failed run looks like, right? If you are on the green edge, on your approach, or, or uh, semi-rough, fairway, whatever, it does not count. You gotta be on the green uh, for the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge here. And uh, anything else, yeah, it's, it's gonna doom you. Oh, and you also gotta make the putt too, so it's one-on-one -on -one putts, no matter what. Although, as I said before, probably a hole-in-one will give you the win on the hole. Probably, but I'm not positive of that. It probably will, as long as you get it in uh, a run with all the other stuff in one run. Alright, here we go. Land nice and soft, please, because the wind is in my face. There we go. Very nice. But I'm not celebrating just yet. One hole at a time here. And there we go. Trickle it down over. Uh, I think that's gonna be good. Maybe a little bit of backspin there. Oh, oh, oh shoot, miss hit it. This might have an effect even though, well, maybe not. I was gonna say even though it's kind of short, but mm, I was just getting kind of paranoid here. <laughs> By the way, that uh, green stuff that's on the edge of the bunkers there, uh, that's uh, that's actually often in uh, real golf courses. It's, it's where they trim the edges of the bunkers uh, to sharpen them a little bit. So yeah, it usually falls in the sand, they sometimes leave it there, or you get on the course before they have time to clean it up, and yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna hit about there, I think, and hope it goes in. Very good. So I made it the hole six, and oh my god, look at the wind. Why, with such a tiny green, would there be this much wind? <laughs> um, I mean, this is a huge, huge amount of wind. Um, 
Should I be hitting like there, maybe? That's what I'm thinking, like there with backspin. Because I gotta get it to stop on the green, so... Yeah, I gotta aim pretty far out to the left and just let it curve in. Uh, a little bit long, but I think I had the right idea there. Well, there goes that run! <laughs> yeah, this is easily, easily the game's most difficult challenge. By a long shot. Even harder than uh, Windy Valley Special Hole, because you only have to do one shot there. This one has... Oh, hello there. <laughs> this one has a bunch of hard shots. Although you don't have to be as precise on them. You just gotta land on the green and then make your putt. But yeah, it's, it's still definitely harder than uh, Windy Valley overall. And it's kind of weird. This this green looks a lot different on the uh, this view right here as opposed to the map view. Yeah, I mean the front edge of it looks a little bit different. Yeah, I don't know why. It just doesn't quite match up. <laughs> That's how you got. You should always press select when you get to a green to see the shape of the green. But since I've pretty much got these greens memorized, I probably don't have to do that. I mean, I've played through these greens a lot. <laughs> um, hmm, I really don't know about this one. That seems too much. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that'll be fine. It's just, it's just a lot of guesswork here. <laughs> well, hitting the, got. Uh, I mean, I'm missing the power there. I should say, missing the impact there might help me a little bit. So, okay, we're good. All right. Pop it in the hole and move on. Hopefully this will be the last run I'll ever have to play on this thing. <laughs> nah, because I'm masochistic, I'll probably, in future runs of the game, play this hole again and again. Actually, play this challenge again and again and again, just because I'm a completionist. And I'm, uh, looking for punishment, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's not bad. We can put that in without moving the cursor. <laughs> um, even though the wind's high here, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference because I got a got a rather long landing area going on here. So yeah, I'm going to hit to the right edge of the green because I'm hitting this at a relatively uh, right to left angle. And yeah, I figure that would be just fine. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of landing area on this green, so it's it's a relatively easy one. All right, hole number six. Here we go. Hmm. How about, like, maybe that? Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna say there, actually. That looks to be my best shot. Because what I'm looking to do here is to run it up to the hole and not land on the hole in the fly. See, the reason why I did that before, uh, when I played this, is because of the wind. It was, it was super gusty, so I had to kind of land it on at an angle and soft, and that was pretty difficult on such a tiny green. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, I know this one's pretty ugly, but it's it's doable with wind like this. Uh, I'm gonna say there and just hit it at regular power. No spin or anything like that. Let it run up to that front edge of the green. I should say the front of the green. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay. So, a little bit to the left, I think. Because I don't... Yeah, I think that'll be fine if I cut off the break by getting hitting with enough power. And this one right here has got a long landing area in back. Uh, hold on. Oh, I don't have... I can't change to an approach shot because I'm too far away. Um, I could probably get, get away with it there. But I think I'm gonna knock off one notch of power just to be safe so it doesn't go long. Okay, that's all right, I guess. It's just that it's hard to get close on this hole because of the... Um, just where the pin is located. Let's hit about there and hope she goes in. There we go! Two miles per hour of wind. But that doesn't mean this is over. Oh, no, 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 not even close. Very easy to miss hit any one of your shots on this course. Anyway, I put backspin on that shot to hopefully land it soft. Alright, as long as I make this putt, this will be the end of the challenge. But, 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 but. Uh, 
I, don't, I really don't know how much break is here because how how are those double tiered arrows really affecting the break? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna hit it there, and it better go in. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! All right. Yes. Yes. That's the first time I ever beat this and shooting a 17! That's incredible! Like, that is seriously the most... Like, like, probably one of the best things I've ever done in this game, ever. Maybe the best thing I've ever done. Today's Gophers give it their all! And beating this unlocks something. And I'll show you here. Well, actually, hold on. I want to. I want to see here all of what I've done before I go over there just to show you. Look at this. Look at this. All stars. All stars. Yes. <laughs> oh wow. Even though this part's gonna end up short, I'm probably gonna end it off just to just to kind of give myself a little break here after that. <laughs> Because I've literally been at this for an hour, believe it or not, and uh, no, I'm not going to continue this. Yeah, that's fine, it's fine. I'm just, just going to... I'm not going to save my game in the field. But if you go over to, say, a stroke play, look at this, look at this. Golf Gurus Pitch and Putt Course has been unlocked. And not only that, check this out. Uh, Golf Gurus Pitch and Putt has 18 holes. Yup, there's more than just a 9-hole course here. There's 18 holes of Hades! But no, you don't have to do the whole one-on-one -on -one putt thing for the 18 holes course. What you can do is just, uh, you just play it normally. It's just a pitch and putt course that you can play uh, any time for the fun of it. And that's what I'm going to be doing in the next part, because I am freaking beat. <laughs> this, this, like, this course just kicked my AWS and then some. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next part when I give this course a full run-through without the ridiculous one-on-one -on -one putt challenge. 